Once the equilibrium has been found, a so-called modal analysis can be carried out, the goal being to find the so-called eigenmodes of the multibody system. It requires two steps. The first one consists in linearizing the equations of motion around the equilibrium. The equation once linearized reads In this equation, you see two new matrices appearing. The first one is the so-called damping matrix, and the second one is the so-called stiffness matrix that can be computed numerically. The second step consists in finding the eigenmode themselves via the, some advanced numerical technique, and the goal is to find the set of eigenvalue and eigenvector of the system. And there are twice the number of degrees of freedom of eigenvectors and eigenvalue. The eigenvalues will indicate the nature of the motion, while the eigenvector will indicate the kind of motion associated to it. The results can be summarized via the eigenvalue inspection in the complex plane, where the x-axis corresponds to the real part of an eigenvalue mu, and the y-axis corresponds to the imaginary part, if exists, of the eigenvalue mu. The stable modes are on the left, the unstable modes are on the right, respectively where the real part is negative and where the real part, part is positive. A real eigenvalue, a purely real eigenvalue, refers to a non-oscillatory motion that can be stable or unstable. Complex conjugated eigenvalue refer to an oscillatory motion that can be stable or unstable. And finally, zero eigenvalue correspond to rigid modes which have no great interest. Eigenmodes can easily be visualized in a post-process, as shown in this short video for the case of a car and a car suspension.